Hello everyone. So I'm redoing this video as I'm about to teach y'all a new lesson in VTuber 101. This is a lesson that's only going to be on video. Now this lesson is called How to Handle AI Bots. What are AI bots? They are bot accounts that are either purchased or programmed manually. These can be bought on such things as websites, on the regular internet, or the dark web. Better known as I call it, the undernet. The undernet is a bit of a, a word in the Mega Man EXE games referring that of the dark web. It's their version of the dark internet where shady things can be purchased and or or sold or various other criminal activities. It is well hidden. So I'm going to expose two bot accounts as a reference. Now first we need to go over how these accounts operate after they are bought. So this is an account. It's a bot account. I muted it and I blocked it. They upload one image and they reposted this from another account. Why is how they work. They repost one image from an account or upload it. Now this is cute, little girl, really cute, teddy bear. I don't know like how bad it is, but we see the post. So they upload one image or repost it as a whole. This is how they get things done. They do one thing like this, maybe two at most. And then they start going on the attack. This account has attacked me. Several individuals have hearted this account, not knowing it's a bot account. This is a bot AI account. They are programmed to repost or upload one image, and they attack an account. I found this out about less than three weeks, four days, and 17 hours ago. Why? Because bot accounts are constantly reprogrammed and or edited through the uh, bot creators that sell them or create them as a whole. This bot account has taken somebody else's identity, is how they work, they take an identity or they're coded to create their own as we're going to go over the next bot account. Now this bot account ooh, is super saucy. I'm not going to show its post. So what I will show is the image they do. So uh, this is Sewer Apoc. Uh, this uh, super saucy bot is like trying to come off like me. It's what they do. They mimic somebody and do stuff like this to attack someone. There is one more bot account that I'm going to cover. So I'm going to go back to Twitter. Now, there's an actual bot account on Twitter that tries to come off like me. So hold on. So, this is an old bot account that was made or purchased by somebody else. There was a follower for a while, they removed themselves. Seems they're following one person. Now, they've made several posts, or at least one. They literally reposted from my channel an old video. I cannot stop this video. 
All right. This person reposted it and uploaded it. And I have removed it on mine. Why? Because it offended and hurt Shy Lily. I have removed it on my account. That bot account did damage that I cannot stop. Neither can Twitter slash X. Why? Because the team does not stop these things. As we're scrolling down, you see the overall thing with Shy Lily is completely gone. I removed it from my account. They reposted an old funny video that got took in the wrong way and went on the attack of yours truly with an old picture slash identity of mine. That's it. That's all I've done. As you see, the post about Shy Lily and me is completely removed. That was an AI account I previously showed that came from Twitter. Not Twitter, but Steam. They first, or, or literally came from Steam. And they went on to Twitter when their accounts and their posts were constantly dealt with by me. I dealt with it one last time. On Twitter slash X, I muted and blocked them. When it comes to the bots AIs, do not rely on the web host to deal with it. The website domain. From one out of one from one to a hundred percent, eighty to eighty-two percent, the web domain does not handle it. The people of the website do not take care of the issue. There is a good only eighteen to twenty percent chance it works. This is a lesson that all content creators should know. That bot AIs are constantly being improved and or changed due to the coding of the person that has made them. Last thing I want to address is the software I use for my tracking. I do not use VR. VR more, is more fluent, you have more control, you can be tracked more accurately. This is what I use. V Magic Mirror, the full edition. This is the tracking software I use for my 3D model. I do not have the money to spend on that of a VR headset that, hold on, I will literally bring up here in a second of how much they cost. All of my money currently goes into my bills of my apartment and my groceries. So, hold on. So, V, R, headsets. Now, new and used is what we're going to be looking at. So, you see, depending on the VR headset, it goes from somewhere to 200, 500, literally around almost 900, to 1500, to even that of a, I think this one may be used, because uh, around $50 or it's cheaply made. VR headsets are really expensive. Heck, there's one over for $3,500. I like Samsung Gear VR. Yeah, this one's possibly used 30 bucks and like really out of date. Uh... I want to repeat, I don't use a VR headset. This individual said I use the VR headset. I do not. They have also went out of their way to, or at least one of their individuals, to upload a Trojan 
program. What is a Trojan program? Well, it's a program that sneaks into somebody's computer and or cell phone and is uploaded. I'll be editing in the crimes, the punishment for the crimes of doing so, of stealing someone's private information or showing an image of their identity. It backfired on them as my camera fell to the ground with the Trojan. I have removed the Trojan myself after it was reported to the police and they have sent it to the Federal Bureau of Investigations. If it's their first conviction, it can go up somewhere to around 26 years. And if it's their second conviction of doing so, you're looking at 50 years in the U.S. If they're located in the U.S. The laws vary from country to country. They're not the same. Even in the U.S., the laws may vary to state to state. <sighs> this video is to teach everyone on VTuber 101 on how to handle bots by not engaging them. There are bot AIs out there. Your best bet, if they engage you, is to investigate the bot, its account, see if it has one or two reposted art, or at least one of it, an art they have found on the internet to post on their account, and then, Overall, you see that, you go, all right, this is a bot AI. I'm not going to engage it. Block it and mute it as soon as possible. That's the best thing you can do to handle a bot AI on any platform. Thank you so much. This video is coming to a close.